Creative Katie, Karen Virtual here. Welcome to my version of the Index Card a Day Create Every Day Challenge. Today I will be using the techniques of creating a colorful background and negative painting. So I am doing my index card on repurposed happy planner pages that I've gessoed or jelly printed on. And this one had a gel print on it and then I didn't like the combination so I put a coat of white gesso on it. Now I'm applying bright yellow, light magenta and turquoise and I'm blending those colors out together and I know the turquoise and the pink blend together when they're wet they're going to make a purple, the yellow and the pink will make kind of a corally color and the yellow and the turquoise will make a kind of green color. So I know I'm not going to get mud on there. I just want to get some bright, happy colors on this page. And, you know, I've tried doing the same thing with a paintbrush, and I just find I get a nicer effect or something that I'm happier with when I use my fingers. So throw away the brush for this for today and just join me by painting with your fingers. So once I have that, I'm giving this a quick dry with my heat tool. And I'd just like to remind you that any of the products that I've used that I can find links to or close substitutes for, I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description box below. Thank you so much for shopping in my, through my Amazon links. So this is Diamond Dash and it is a Crafters Workshop stencil and I am a brand ambassador for the Crafters Workshop. This is one of their cake and cookie stencils, but it works really well for this. And I'm stenciling with the same colors. This one is called Swiss Dot. And these, their 5x5 five five stencils are the perfect size for these 5x7 pages. They're also great for taking when you're going on a create date or when you're traveling because they're very compact. So I'm just adding more color. I just want to build up some interesting layers and patterns. Now I've had the same colors and then I'm going to go in, come in with some black and altogether likely white. This is the first of my Create Daily iCAD. And, you know, I... I'm looking at Daisy Yellow's prompts, and you can find them at in her on her web page. But I'm not necessarily holding myself to following all the prompts or doing them necessarily in the order that she's given them. I will indicate if I am using one of her prompts so that you can follow along. But uh, this one, I just kind of one I wanted to get done a little bit ahead of time because it takes time to get the videos done and. Two, when I did get the prompts, the first one really didn't inspire me a whole lot. And give yourself permission to deviate from that. So I wanted to make one that kind of talked about jumping in, starting our journey in this Create Everyday Challenge. So I just downloaded some clip art and a hot air balloon. And I'm just tracing it. I cut it out and I'm just getting the basic shape. And this is what you can do if you aren't as comfortable with your drawing skills. But quite honestly, this shape should be quite easy to draw. I use the Sibilo All Pencil because that is water soluble and it will disappear. Now I'm coming in with some Prussian Blue and because that was a little dark, I keep adding more and more light blue permanent to the background. Now what you're seeing me doing here is basically is called negative painting. I'm painting out the negative space. And when you do that, you can paint the background whatever color you want. In this case, I want it to represent sky, so I'm going with blue tones. And usually I put more than one color on my brush to get a little bit more interest. Now I could have left it as that, and especially in real life, you can totally see the patterns and designs and any of the texture that you've created in the colorful background. 
This time I chose to do something different and you're going to see that right away, but you could, I could have left it at just at this with some of that texture peeking through. Now I decided I wanted to make this look a little bit more like the sky. So I wanted to make air bubbles or clouds or just add a little bit more interest to the background. And I was gonna use that stencil. And then I decided I love these swirls that are in this section of this crazy wave stencil. You've seen me use this stencil. I have used it so much. It's just so incredibly versatile to use as it is or to use just a section of it when you're adding interest to your backgrounds. You've got like four different patterns on it. So, so I'm just getting this swirl pattern all over and I'm not too worried about if I overlap some of these swirls with what I have. Some of the areas are a little more opaque white, some are a little lighter. And I like that variation as well. That just adds more interest to the page. I am using a makeup sponge and I dip it in the paint and I tap it off on my glass media mat underneath. And just FYI, I'm putting the cutout of the hot air balloon on top of my hot air balloon to just mask it off because I don't want these swirls on it. Now I'm coming in with some Prussian blue in the swirls. Again, I want more interest. So there we have that bright hot air balloon on in this sky background. I just love these bright colors. I hope you give the, that those three colors a try, especially for summertime. So now I'm going coming in with the Prussian blue and I'm doing some shading using the floating acrylic technique. Now, if you're not comfortable with that technique, you can use a watercolor pencil, Sabilo All pencil, a Neil Color 2, any color. Uh, you could use black. I'm using a dark blue here. Then you can activate it and get that shading technique. You could also use a charcoal pencil. This page from beginning to end took about just over 30 minutes and I've sped it up to double time. Then I'm just, since I have the paint out, I'm going to edge the outside of this page just to frame it. As I said, these pages are from my mini happy planner that I used last year. And I am repurposing and I absolutely, A, I love this size, B, I love how well these pages take medium. And again, in keeping with Daisy Yellow's challenge, she wants people to use the index card because it's a less than perfect substrate. So is this. It's not as hardy as good mixed media paper. And I like the idea that it's hole punched and it's going in here. You can check out my playlist of index card a day challenge, create every day videos to see the first one where I'm getting ready. I give some tips and some ideas of what you can do and tell you how I'm going to approach this challenge because I am making it my own. Now, initially I was going to put the phrase jump in because when I Googled the picture, I Googled parachute and then I ended up with a hot air balloon. And I, I realized that kind of at this stage that the jump in really didn't match the hot air balloon. So then I changed the phrase to take off. I love these grungy, large, bold, letters for 
for stamping phrases on here. I'm doing a horrible job of stamping though. I'm stamping with acrylic paint, not ink. I just tend to have more luck with that. And then I go in afterwards and I touch up the letters with a paintbrush and, and some black acrylic paint. I find I did better when I just put one, do one letter at a time. But I like the boldness of the dark black lettering with the rest of this page. So I am going back now because I have this black on here. I'm edging it with black instead of just the blue. Some people say, well, but you're doing it twice. Well, you can actually see both. They both add to it. And sometimes it's easier to start with a lighter color and then go darker. If you start with the dark color, especially since if it's permanent, like with the acrylic paint, you can't undo it. So here I'm just touching up the letters. So I'm still undecided if I'm going to put out while I'm going to do the index card a day, create everyday challenge. I don't know that I'm going to uh, do a video for every single one. That becomes very, very hectic very, very quickly to do 61 straight days of creating and editing videos and uploading and the like. But I will be posting them on my Instagram account. So if you want to check out and see all the of my iCADs that will either be on my mini planner on the four by four cardboard coasters, please go and follow me on Instagram at creative Katie. I'm almost at a thousand followers. When I hit a thousand, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a giveaway because that's something that needs to be celebrated. So go there and hit follow and then you can see what I'm up to because not everything in this challenge is going to be a video. This is my fine line bottle. And I have white acrylic paint in here that has been thinned down and it's just trial and error to get the right consistency. But you do not have to put a whole lot of pressure on the bottle to get the paint to come out. And I love, love, love these bottles. I find it easier to use than pencils and it lasts longer. Plus I can do it. I can do the paint in any color I want. Now I'm just going around the outside with the white and that's just giving it another color. So it's been shaded with the darker colors and the white on top and that gives a, a lot of interesting detail. I find when you're using the fine line bottle, if you push it away from you, I am able to have more control. So give that a try, but see what works for you. And I'm using the black to outline the hot air balloon. So I thought I was done here. And then I decided, you know, I'm missing the lines that are going down. There's, it, there wasn't enough detail. So I could have just drawn those lines in, but I'm showing you this trick. What I slipped underneath this is graphite paper. And when I draw on it with a ballpoint pen and press, it actually transfers that pattern onto 
the page. So again, if you're someone who doubts your ability to draw freehand or you get nervous like I do, this is an alternative. And I will find some graphite paper on Amazon, I'm hoping to, and I'll put a link in the description box below. Because if you can use that, you can pretty much then use anything. So I did, I outlined it, made it a little darker with my Stabilo Oil Pencil, and then I'm just shading it. And this kind of gives it that 3D effect. It was a very little addition, but adding these lines really made this page for me. It was just necessary. Now I could have gone in and just done this with acrylic paint and um, the shading technique. But I'm not overly concerned in this art in an art journal page about making sure the very top layer is water soluble. I'm not going to varnish this. I'm not going to add any more wet medium. This is the final layer. So I'm not worried about that. So it doesn't have to be permanent necessarily. Then I have a gel pan, and this is just, I can't even think what the name is, a shimmer. I'll put it in the description box below. It goes on clear, but it does shine, so it catches the light a little bit. And I just, this is something new in my stash, and I thought, you know, I need to play with this. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this index card a day, create every day challenge a try. It's worthwhile. It'll help get you creative and get you to build up that creating habit.